Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rip Burger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Well, oh, sir, that's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why? Thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. Well, you know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. some boys I can ride with. Step on it. Let's find out who they are. Hey, Ben. Mm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> that drove over my car.
possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm, an appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The Polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish? Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rotwheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Corbill, here we come. Hey everyone, this is Razor Scum here, and welcome to my Let's Play of Full Throttle Remastered. So this was the recently re-released version of Full Throttle, courtesy of Tim Schafer's Double Fine Productions, and is a remake of the 1995 game Full Throttle, which was done by Tim Schafer during his tenure at uh, LucasArts. So the first thing we'll do is that we'll head out the front here. And this was um, one of the first LucasArts games that was designed almost exclusively for CD-ROM. So it wasn't like traditionally uh, LucasArts games up until this point were released in a floppy disk format then they would have a CD talkie version released either at the same time or later on during the year, which was the case with Day of the Tentacle and Sam and Max Hit the Road. So this was the first one designed for, like from the ground up for CD-ROM, and it really shows in terms of you know, the, the direction that it takes. Um, the music, of course, um, in the introduction there we heard the Gone Jackals, and just the overall mood of the voice acting, which is courtesy of the late Roy Conrad as Ben here, and Mark Hamill, who does the voice of Rip Burger. But we're going to see if we can start this motorcycle. Hmm. 
Nope. No keys. My keys. I don't like that. Hmm. Let's go to the front of the kickstand. Well, first we'll try to knock. Open up. No dice. Let's try using a little bit more enforcement. There we go. I uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. You want something? I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. You gonna order something? No. So, so far, he is giving us very, very useless information, but we'll try and see if we can force something out of him. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <coughs> now, don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man, here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there, but why ambush the pole gants? I'd better get moving. So, killing us and making it look like an accident. That doesn't sound good. Eh. Uh, let's start the bike. So this is a mechanic that appears in the beginning part of this game, which is now and later on, where we have to engage in fights with the bikers, oh, and he's just been taken down. Let's watch this. Uh-oh. I'd like 
to make you just one something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. Don't worry. I have a plan. They had guns! Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Hmm. better point these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. Hmm. So that's... This is the character, Moraine. She's going to be a big one in this game. But she is voiced by Kath Susie, who anyone who's a Rugrats fan may recognize as the voice of none other than Phil and Lil. But we're gonna ask her some things. Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center. But I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Hmm. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust, or they leave. Which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Never mind. I'll figure it out myself. And whatever blows your hair back. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Alright, so we're going to have to wrap this up for now. Um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be uploading a new episode of this um, playthrough every Friday. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!